As a good friend said, there is nothing worse than answering correctly the wrong question. If my client gives me a program and he thinks that's the right question, if I go back and then do my work and come back and do the best thing I can, I, I answered correctly the wrong question. Uh, this is a second department store that we did. And um, here I asked for this project because they had, they had, they had this building that uh, they grew a little bit of an existing store and they had done this horrible box. And this sits in one of the most amazing streets in Mexico City, Insurgentes and Felix Cuevas. And I said, we have to do something there that is not an enclosed box. We have to do something that kind of reconnects again to society on the outside. And we started off with some uh, graphics. It's funny because then when clients call us, they, they asked us to do, can you do something uh, for the facade? And I said, well, we don't do dresses for buildings. We like space. We do architecture. So, we're, uh, I mean, if you want graphic design, do a graphic. But if you're asking an architect, why don't you do something that's a bit more interesting? So, the first thing we started with these, di with these diagrams, opening up the inside out. And, um, and I explained with this video to a client, said, well, okay, imagine that we have this space, but if we create space, let's use it for something different. Please don't, uh, <laughs> Don't put any mannequins there. Don't put any signs that says Mother's, my mother's, mother's Day Sale. I mean, let's use it for different things. What if we push uh, uh, a little bit of your company into something that is different? What if we put a, maybe a radio station and we give ears to your uh, uh, company? And maybe you have an interview there, and then you can sell the book of the guy that you interviewed because you already sell books. So I was giving them all this idea of how to enhance the experience. And again, we were not asked to do that. We were just asked to design a building. So we said we were pushing again, and um, uh, we were doing all these models with all these different experiences, uh, how it would look. And by the end of the day, again, we came back to these super Mexican uh, workers that I love working with. That, uh, uh, of course, we love digital design, but when you see these guys cutting by hand and the things that they can produce for these buildings, it's amazing to me. And I love these are my, my, my heroes, because if you have the... the if you have the time to tell them about caring for things, they will care for things, and they'll help you do these magnificent uh, ideas that we, we try to create. So this is the building under construction, and this is the building once it was uh, finished and opened by the client. Uh, so it now we're, we're still pushing because the client at the end didn't understand how he, he can benefit from this. And uh, it's interesting because there was kind of this lack of me as the architect, the client as what he does in a department store, and this is the question that I, that I asked. If architecture becomes this sort of hardware, like you have your, your telephone, no? Who's designing the software? Who can design all the applications? Because of course I wanted the store to be, to be the store, no? Like if it was the, operation, the operating system. But what if somebody can hack in and create gastronomical experiences, co-working spaces, uh, maybe a hair salon, maybe different things that could happen?